you've already you, you already had something in place, but you destroyed it. Now you're coming back to say, well, we can fix it now. How, should, how, how would I believe you? After May 31st of 2020, when all the riots happened and you know the George Floyd thing happened, this piece of human trash, Mayor Frey of Minneapolis, he got with his council members and they defunded the police. So naturally, when you remove the police and you create a vacuum, chaos ne will necessarily fill that vacuum. And that's exactly what happened. When you defund the police, the police aren't there to essentially investigate and stop crimes. Look what happened. And then now Minneapolis mayor admits that the calls to defund the police led to a spike in crime. Now, anybody with a room temperature IQ could have pieced this together and said, hey, look, um, if you do this, perhaps the end result is not going to be what you want. That's exactly what happened. Now, do the police need reform? Absolutely. However, removing money from them and giving that money to other organizations within the city and state government isn't the correct thing to do because you still have X amount of police that are not there anymore or you hire social workers to stop what? <laughs> um, armed robberies? That's not going to do anything. We all knew this was going to happen. This has been proven from time and time again that when you remove the police from a crime-ridden city, more crime's going to happen. Um, the city council vowed last year in the wake of the death of the George Kirby, I mean Floyd, to get rid of the police and make a, or Mayor Jacob Frey did little to stand in their way despite claiming that he did not want to fully abolish the police. But he stood by and allowed it because he's a freaking weak, which famously upset protesters who confronted him on the subject. As the movement to defund the police gained steam, crime in the city increased as cops left the force. After a while, the same city council that trashed cops and threatened to gut their departments realized the city needed help and they were forced to outsource its police force and work. And imagine that. You remove... What is this like? It's like removing all the doors on your house because you don't need them. You know, they... they Basically, uh, during the summer, it's too hot. You know, air conditioners doesn't work, but you remove all the doors in your house to let airflow come in. Well, during the winter, it gets cold. So you have to put in, you got to outsource some doors. So you got to buy some plywood because there's no more doors that are willing to get put up or something like that. But you get my point. You remove the police, but then you got to outsource the police to what? The Pinkertons? I don't know. Just a few months later, the council voted to spend an additional $6.4 million on police, but the damage has already been done. Crime has been spiking in Minneapolis. Just last weekend, seven people were shot in a span of 12 hours. The problem has become so severe that Mayor Frey is holding meetings with community leaders in an attempt to find solutions to the, to the spike in violent crime. Um, I, I, hello, I, 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 ask me. Um, I, know, I, I know what it is. It's because your prosecutors aren't prosecuting crime. You're allowing these violent criminals back out on the street. And also, it's a little, little too far gone that this is more of a cultural issue. It's not necessarily a present day issue. This, this issue should have been solved 20, 30 years ago. Too late. Too late. Um, and he's been forced to admit that the calls to abolish the police were at least Partly responsible. No, that's saying it was 50% possible. Last Friday, Frey told citizens the city needs to get to work stopping the criminals. Violence needs to stop. It's unacceptable. People deserve to feel safe in their neighborhood. They deserve to be able to send their kids out on the sidewalk to play and to recreate without bullets flying by. That's unacceptable. We should be holding those perpetrators accountable. Again, when I mean, you got prosecutors that are going after cops that aren't necessarily at fault for, let's say, the George Floyd incident. Maybe partly, but not 100% at fault. Do you think the cops are really want to go in these areas to uphold the law, knowing full well that the, the city government doesn't have their back? Would you take a call if you're a police officer that says, oh, there's two people trying to stab each other? Nope, sorry, my car broke down. Can't help. 
I wouldn't do it. There's no freaking way I would do it. I'd quit my job and move somewhere else and become a sheriff of a small town. Um, he added that the city currently doesn't have enough officers to respond to the city's crime needs, and he hopes city council members will actually try to work with Police Chief Madaria Arredondo. Right. It's going to take very comprehensive effort, Frey said. Yes, it includes safety beyond policing. Ah, there you go. There you go. Safety beyond policing. All right. What? Like I said, are you going to have uh, mediators go out on calls for armed robbery? That's not going to do anything. Um, it, let's see. Uh, da, da, da. Yeah. I'm calling all the council members to try to work with him as well. But at least one community leader, Pastor Dale Hume, was not going to let the city's leadership off the hook and hook easily and made sure that it let Frey know that the anti-police rhetoric coming from the city council played a role in the spike of crime. Of course it did. Do people who think that the easy solution to this is to fund the police, when you live here and something like this happens, you obviously see that is not the solution. And of course it's not. Frey said he agrees. It's just the reality of the situation, solution, you know. When you make a big overarching statement that we're going to defund or abolish and dismantle the police department and get rid of all the officers, there's an impact to that. Yeah, because criminals think, hey, what are they going to do? They kind of stop me. I could, I could rob this liquor store, do the do watuzi, dance around for 20 minutes, and then leave. The cops will still won't even be there. He added that. We need accountability and a culture shift within our department, and we need police. Oh, now he's saying it. Now he's trying to get to get to work. But then he let the city council just sort of run roughshod. That's called poor leadership. When he could have stepped in and said, "Hey, snap out of it," you know. Yes, we have problems, but defunding the police and getting rid of police officers is only going to result in more crime. But he didn't do that. That's because Mayor Frey is a weak person, a weak man, and a weak mayor. He is weak, if not incompetent. Matter of fact, it's probably both of those things, weak and incompetent. According to WCCO, the mayor intends to release a new plan this week that includes increased public safety and police accountability. Now, now I would agree with the police accountability which makes sense, like removing qualified immunity. That makes sense. You've already you, you already had something in place, but you destroyed it. Now you're coming back to say, well, we can fix it now. How, should, how, how would I believe you? I don't believe you. There's no way in hell. In conclusion, defunding the police wasn't going to help things. It actually made things worse. Now, I do admit police need more accountability and there needs to be more training for them to deal with People like George Floyd, who are high, who are high as balls on fentanyl, who don't want to comply. There, there needs to be another way of handling that situation. Perhaps more officers at the scene. But then again, that's just me Monday morning quarterbacking this. But at least I'm giving some options here. He's not giving options. He's just saying accountability and more police. Well, you already had more police. You done fucked up. Remove the police, and then you're like, well. We messed up. We need more police. Do you understand? It take, requires a lot of time and effort to hire more police that you let go or are fired or they retired early because they didn't want to deal with their shit. Now you're saying, oh, now we're here to fix it? No. What we need in Minneapolis and even Minnesota is do this thing called stop voting for goddamn Democrats and liberals and socialists and communists and Marxists. What do you think is happening? When you vote for a weak Democrat piece of shit like Jacob Frey, what do you think is going to happen? Oh, yeah, that's right. We already see what happens. How about you do something crazy and start voting in Republicans or Libertarians? It can't get any worse. It only could get better. But that requires the culture of Minneapolis, the culture of Minnesota to change. And I hate to say it, but it ain't going to happen. More of this is going to continue. More of this incompetence is going to continue. Why? Because you vote, because you keep voting for socialists and communists in Minneapolis and Minnesota.